Berlin passed a law to allow women to go topless in public swimming pools, and I am going to Berlin. Your last breakup, was it your fault or theirs? Theirs, because they were boring me. They were boring you? Yeah. What made them boring? You know when they're just like really nice all the time and they just do whatever you want? So like a yes man? Yeah, I don't like that. Was he supportive? Yeah. And he was there for you? Yeah. Was he loyal? Yeah. Is that what matters? Yeah, but I don't want to be bored in a relationship. You don't want to be bored? I'm not fully into it. They say that you can do anything to a woman besides bore her. I find that to be very true. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice crack. Pause. <laughs> For my male audience, you're welcome. Enjoy the crack. You're confused because you ended up sleeping with an MLB player. You think that this is now the baseline for the type of man you can get. No, this is the baseline for the type of man you can fuck. That is the difference. difference. And it's just so especially- And it's not an accomplishment. Right. Uh, uh, girls, you know, punch out of their league for sex all the time. Yeah. Like, the, and, and I think a lot of women don't understand that, that like, in a relationship are two different things, but girls think, oh, I this guy, I deserve this guy. No, you don't. I avoid athletes and all that. Like, now you do. Yeah, now you do. I never, growing up, had anything designer. You know, my mom wouldn't let me. I think I got my first pair of Louboutins when I graduated high school. It makes me emotional, actually, because I felt like I was a 16-year-old middle child again. Any middle children. Wow. Honestly, bro, I need to pause the video. I'm getting really emotional right now. This is truly one of the saddest clips I think I've ever seen. Wow. You didn't have anything designer until you were 16? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is the definition of a first world problem. Jesus Christ. How can you even bring this up? <laughs> it's like an actual issue. This is how some people grew up, man. Just zero struggle. Easiest of the easy lives. I have a question for guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's hear it. Because this seems to be a trend. When girls put their sweatpants yeah. down. Yeah. And they like take a photo like this. Uh-huh. Or they walk around the gym like this. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Then they're, they're asking for attention. Okay, Cinderella only had to take off one shoe to get her man, okay? These guys on Instagram be showing it all for free. Mm -hmm. Attention seeking. The guys pop their balloons to reject the girl. Single woman, reveal yourself. Make some noise, make some noise. Uh, well, introduce yourself. What's your name? My name is Layla. And I like to eat food. I like to eat. Damn, man, you're gonna need to feed this one. Oh, you can't feed your. Tell you don't like eating. Oh. 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 Okay. So you're not a foodie. All right, I have to that. Damn. Is that it? Is that it? Damn. Yikes. She's a foodie. I like to eat. You'll see this pretty often, actually. I think it's so funny because it's so basic. It's the most basic thing. Like, who doesn't like a good meal? Oh, do you like breathing air, too? And drinking water? And oh, I bet you like sleeping, too. These are not hobbies. These are just the human experience. When I was 15 years old, my first girlfriend cheated on me. And I remember making a decision that nobody would ever cheat on me again. And the way I was going to do that is by being the biggest actor on earth. Big yikes, my guy. This is a very good example of how a woman can completely ruin your reputation. He had this mindset when he was 15 years old, totally ready to adhere to it. And then boom, he meets the wrong chick, death by a thousand paper cuts, completely breaks him down and turns his mind around. Crazy. Obviously he let this happen because his frame was not strong enough, but that's one of the reasons why it's so important to bring a good woman into your life and to learn how to filter out the bad ones. I'm really different because like, I'm a vibe and like, I have my own job, I have my own car. I can cook, I can clean, um, I know how to make chicken alfredo, that's my favorite dish to make. Also, I'm a Virgo, so you know, you know what that means. I am a freak. Not you being a great listener, period. It's giving support. That was way too relatable. It's 90% of chicks nowadays. A lot of guys are socially awkward. I think, I think you're a bit ignorant to like the average guy's experience. The average guy today, his granddad had to put in a quarter of the work to get the kind of woman that is four times as amazing. Like his grandmother was an amazing woman and a, and a very, very feminine, natural woman. And his granddad yeah. really didn't have to do the kind of work he has to do right now Yo. as a young man in the Western world. So, so you're talking about hoflation. Yes, hoflation. Hoflation, so modern men have to work five times harder than their grandfathers did for women 20 times worse 
than what their grandmothers were. This is probably the biggest reason why men are checking out of the West. You have to fight and claw your way to the top percentage of men, working for years to become that apex man. And then what are you getting? Seriously, some chick that's wasted her prime years, not feminine, doesn't know how to keep a household or nurture children, doesn't know how to be a wife. It is objectively a bad deal. I personally still choose to date in the West, but as far as finding the long-term girl, you know, the wife, the mother of my children, it's seeming to be pretty unlikely. So more than likely, I'm just going to be traveling a bunch, find a different country, Japan, Philippines, Poland, Colombia, some of these other places where the women are more feminine and they uphold traditional values. But of course, first, I'm becoming that apex man and I'm doing all the stuff that we always talk about money up, muscles up, purpose up, and you guys will be able to watch that unfold. We'll be able to go back to this clip right now, a year from now, and see just how much has changed. So that's where I'm at personally, just wanted to give you guys an update, and I'll continue to keep you guys updated as we go throughout the years. Look, look at that. Don't touch my car. Oi! What's up, boys? What's up, boys? Well deserved. Someone translate that for me, please. It's shocking to me to see clips like that. People just using other people's property to flex on their Instagram or whatever. Quite bizarre. Imagine someone trespassing on a millionaire's mansion lot. Goes up, takes a few pictures. It's like, oh yeah, no, this is my house. This is where I live. Just cringy, bro. The amount of attention that women gets really depends on the age. So this graph that we see here is the number of contacts made from a random sample of 10,000 men towards women at a particular age from 20. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and so forth. And um, the bottom axis is the men's age. At 20 years old, women get the most amount of messages, especially from guys around their age, which is at 20. And you do see a substantial amount of messages from men across the spectrum. Um, by 25, she gets the most messages from men around her age as well, but of lesser magnitude than when she was 20. And by the time she is 30, um, the amount of messages she gets from men around her age is significantly less than when she was in her 20s. I would say it is about a third of when she was 25 and a fourth of when she was 20. This isn't exactly shocking. If you've been watching my kind of content for a while, you would know this, but it's interesting to see it in terms of attention and how much attention they get. Because attention is the coin of the realm in girl world. Rolo Tomasi. Another thing by Rolo Tomasi is this SMV chart. And if you see, if we line these up, it fits perfectly. It directly correlates with their marketplace value and how much attention they get. When they hit 30, it has a sharp decline. But just look at the difference between the women in their early 20s compared to when they hit 30. What is that? A 20 times loss in attention? And then from there, it just drops even more. Pretty interesting to see it in this format. Dude, that's hot as f And they probably don't even realize it's hot. When they run their fingers through their hair and- Careful, bro. Gotta get all the chicks, man. Save some for the rest of us.